What is going on miners and welcome back to the Hobbyist Miner channel. Uh, so today we're gonna go ahead and talk a little bit about my, this is actually, this is my first mining rig here. Uh, it's grown pretty significantly uh, as time has gone on. Uh, the, you know, a lot of the parts have swapped out. My power supply has swapped out. Um, the the solid state drive is still the same and definitely the motherboard. The motherboard is the B250 uh, that I originally got. But I want to go ahead and show you guys this rig a little bit and then dive into the meat and potatoes of this video. So we do, we are running currently a total of three, six, nine, 12 total cards in this rig. So I don't think I show kind of this GPU hanger set up enough as well as the power supply set up enough as well. Uh, so we have your traditional ATX power supply. We have a uh, solid state drive in here. We have our B250 motherboard. And then we also have, there's a 750 watt HP power supply with a breakout board, as well as another one up here. Uh, this one is actually the 1200 watt and 1200 watt. So in total, we're running a decent amount of power between this. I only use the ATX power supply to power the motherboard. Up top here, we have 1200, 1200, and then 750. So we have plenty of power here. Now, could I get away with eliminating this power supply? Absolutely. But then you have these two power supplies that sound like a rocket, and they also get so hot. So whenever these are really, really loud, these power supplies, you really have to look at adding another power supply because you just have too much load on those other ones. But anyways, we have a total of 11 470s in here and then one 570. One of the, I actually bought two sets, two sets of six of the 470s. One of those cards actually uh, went bad. They weren't new. They were previously mined on uh, and we swapped it out with the 570 here, all four gig cards. So what I wanted to get into today was something short sweet and just a small tip for the new miners coming into the space and that is how to properly shut down your mining rig um, it seems simple enough but in reality there's probably some best practices that i've learned over the last five months of mining that i wanted to share with you guys so we're going to go ahead and jump over to the computer in hive os and go over powering this sucker down and this could apply in windows as well and then I'll come over and show you guys how we go ahead and power this up with four different power supplies. So I'll be back here in just a second on the computer. All right, so we have Hive OS currently up and running right now. We're about 164 mega hash on Kapow mining our lovely Ravencoin right now. Um, you know, our cards are between 13.6 and that 5714. <clears throat> Excuse me. We are, all of these cards have been. Uh, the BIOS has been edited with the Polaris BIOS editor. Uh, and uh, yesterday's video actually talked about some of those results. If you guys had a chance to take a look at it on the results of using that one click BIOS editor on all of our cards. Uh, that being said, let's get into the process of shutting down. So you've been mining for a while. You need to do some maintenance. You got to do some cleaning. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, or, or you just need to reboot your system. You've been having some problems. So what I recommend and what is a, a good practice to get into is come into your mining rig and you can do this in Windows 10 as well and shut down your miner. So if you're in Windows 10, you just close that uh, command prompt window uh, for Phoenix miner, T-Rex miner, or whatever you're running. In Hive OS, you come up here to the little pickaxe and you do stop miner. So that's going to go ahead and send the command to the mining rig and say, hey, stop what you're doing, please. It's time to go ahead and uh, stop mining for the moment. So we're going to go ahead and give this uh, a few moments here to go ahead and stop. It looks like it says it's completed. So let's go ahead and refresh. And you can tell that it's not mining by not having anything listed here. Now, the next step that I recommend you do is give it a few minutes. Whatever you feel most comfortable with. If you can give it 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 30 minutes, even five minutes is still a big change. And while the mining has stopped, the entire system now has the capability of cooling down. You have to remember, like, 
these things are running at 40, 50, 60, 70 degrees Celsius. That's freaking hot. And so shutting it down just abruptly can really cause some wear and tear on the actual capacitors, on the hardware, and on the chips. So what I recommend is powering down, give it 10 minutes even, allow things to cool off uh, for the mining, and then come in here. Now the rig's still up and running. The fans are still running, helping to cool things down. Um, and we're going to come in here and just go to our power button and then go to shutdown. <clears throat> now on Windows, Windows 10, the miner's been closed. You've waited 10 minutes, let's say. You'll just go to, to start and shut down. That'll go ahead and power down the rig. And now it is in a state that uh, has cooled down a little less abruptly. And if that gets you a little bit more longevity out of your cards, it's definitely worth the five to 10 minutes of waiting. So let's go ahead and jump back over to our camera and I'll show you exactly how I power up this four power supply rig. Okay, so our rig's been powered down for a little bit. Let's say we went ahead and did a cleaning on it, and now we need to go ahead and power it up. So, as I talked about previously, my ATX power supply only powers the motherboard. The other power supplies power the risers and the GPUs. So, I'm going to come over here and power these off. They're still on. Nothing's happening, though. I did shut down the rig from an operating system level. and we'll power off our ATX power supply. So we've done everything we need to do. It's now time to go ahead and power this on. So a good rule of thumb, so you guys are getting two tips and tricks in this video. A good rule of thumb is always power on the server power supplies, or if you're running a separate ATX power supply just for your GPUs and risers. So as you can see, these are on and they're currently providing power to the risers and to the GPUs. And you can even tell here, look, the LEDs are up and running. Not all my cards have LEDs, uh, just the Sapphire Nitros do. So the GPUs and the risers have power. The next step is give it a few seconds and then turn on your power supply. And we're currently running uh, it with a power button versus having it configured in the BIOS. So now GPUs and risers have power. The motherboard has power. All we got to do is power it on now. And as you can see, all of our GPUs now start spinning and we are off to the races. Well, this was a short tips and tricks videos for beginners on something that I have learned over the last five months of getting into mining. I still consider myself a new miner, but love to share this information with you guys. If you guys did enjoy this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.